Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for July 15th, 2023, from Proverbs chapter 31, verse 22. She makes bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Now here, purple is a color being used that symbolizes royalty. So the bride of Christ is indeed part of that royalty as we are connected to Christ, who is King of kings and Lord of lords. The bed coverings note the idea that this is where we sleep. This is where we are protected. And we are protected in the day and in the night, for we are the bride of Christ. Verse 23, her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. Again, let's understand these verses as being connected to the bride of Christ and our husband, who is Christ, who on the last day will be shown to all the land as King of kings and Lord of lords. And every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that yes, Jesus is Lord. Verse 24. She makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchant. Here, the focus is the bride of Christ makes things that can be worn. Things that we can wear. Especially things that come from God. Yes, God does provide for all our physical clothing. But in the back of my mind, I want you to consider the white robe of Christ's righteousness that we receive when we are baptized. Because when we are baptized into the body of Christ, this is how we become, you could say, the bride of Christ. And we continue to gather around God's word and sacraments. And the sacraments, of course, are the Lord's Supper and Holy Baptism, which is a beautiful reminder that, yes, we are clothed in Christ Jesus. Verse 25, strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. As this last verse was talking about clothing and the idea of clothing as the body, uh, as the white robe of Christ's righteousness, which protects us, so it gives us a strength and a dignity that when the world really changes, we keep our focus upon Christ and know that we are protected by his holy word, no matter how the world around us changes today. And when we see the dramatic changes, we can laugh about it because we know that our place in heaven is 100% secure all because of the person and work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Verse 26, she opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. So yes, the church continues to proclaim God's holy word. It is a word of wisdom as the book of Proverbs has been constantly reminding us and the church needs to continue to teach this word and to be quick to speak about this word like it's on the tip of our tongue so that many may hear this word of God and also receive the blessings that come from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.